Today we're going to discuss the Phantom 4 Pro going into 2023 is upon us and the Phantom 4 Pro is still one of my favorite drones. Now from what I've gathered, a lot of drone pilots have abandoned the Phantom 4 Pro for a more portable option. But I still believe in 2023, this is a great drone to own. Now if you're getting into that commercial space and you want to make money off your drone, many other commercial pilots have told me that this is a highly respected drone. And most people outside the drone community believe that this is what an official drone looks like. So you much rather pull up with this than this because this, unfortunately, most people believe it's like a toy drone. Now for the hobbyist, I would say image quality. This drone has proven itself again and again for having one of the best cameras in the sky. They've even put this camera against the one on the Mavic 2 Pro. And from the videos I've seen, the Phantom 4 Pro has won every time. This drone also has a mechanical shutter, which is very rare in a drone. The Mavic 3 Enterprise also has a mechanical shutter, but that drone is like $3,600 and is missing features like active track, etc. And as far as features are concerned, this one is loaded with them. It has intelligent flight modes, which I could leave a link in the description. Uh, it's a video that shows you all the features that this has. And if you leverage some of these right, you could definitely get better video. Now, it also has adjustable aperture. Now, a lot of these little drones do not have an adjustable aperture. They are set. I highly recommend for everyone out there to get out of auto if you haven't yet and just mess around with the aperture, the shutter speed, and your ISO to really capture those images that you envision. I'm telling you, it's not going to take too long and you're going to be very happy with the result. This is the best way to get the most out of your camera on your drone. Now, let's talk about price. Now, the V1, which is the one in my hand right now, it's very hard to find brand new. The V2, certain companies are still selling them, but the pre-owned market is loaded with these drones. I have a friend that got a Phantom 4 Pro for about $500, which is a great value. And now, I'm speaking about some of the benefits of having this drone. I could go on and on and on. For something about $500, having all these features would be amazing. I could talk on and on about this drone, but I'm gonna cut it here and go into some footage I captured just recently in, in the fall with this drone. So you could get an idea of what you could pull off if you had a Phantom 4 Pro. If you guys want, you can leave your opinions about the Phantom 4 Pro in the comments. I am out of here for now. Peace.
Okay, Billy, what kind of advice would you give somebody that just purchased a drone? So something that I ran into when I first bought my drone, Phantom 4 from Best Buy, uh, was I started to feel overconfident. So like, for example, I went to Christmas Eve, right, right around Christmas time, right after I got my drone, and uh, I was showing everybody like how fast it was, and I put it really low down to the ground, flew down some back roads in South Jersey, I hit like four trees, and I kept crashing the drone, right? So my biggest thing is to not overextend yourself or not uh, get too confident or get too cocky, right? I left with a drone that had broken propellers, the cameras messed up after the fact. So I mean, really the biggest thing is to just kind of grow at your own pace. Don't look at what other people are doing online and try to, uh, you know, get, get overconfident. All right, bro, thanks. Good stuff.